As we continue our study of directed graphs, or digraphs, it's important that we're comfortable with the meanings of in-degree and out-degree, and some of the related terms and notation. So let's go over some of that stuff in today's lesson. Remember how in a normal graph, edges are defined as two element subsets of the vertex set. But of course, for digraphs, this is not sufficient. Since, for example, this directed edge here isn't just an edge between U and W, it's an edge from W to U. And a two element subset of the vertex set can't capture that because sets don't have order. So you may recall that we define directed edges of digraphs as ordered pairs. So this directed edge here is represented by the ordered pair W, U. W comes first because the edge is leaving W and it's going to U, so U comes second in the ordered pair. And these directed edges are also called arcs. And since there are two different types of arcs that a vertex might be incident with, an arc leaving it or an arc going to it, we have to define these two different types of degrees in directed graphs. The in degree of a vertex is the number of edges going to it or the number of edges going into it, so to speak. Whereas the out degree of a vertex is the number of edges going from it or going out of it, so to speak. So what is this arc doing? It's going from or out of the vertex W and it's going to or in the vertex U. So looking at the vertex U, for example, what is the in degree of U? It's denoted like this, I, D, U. What's it equal to? The number of edges going to U. Well, that would be two. There are two directed edges or arcs going to U. One of them is this one that we previously wrote. The other one is going to U from the vertex V. Since there are two arcs going to U, the in degree of U is two. What about the out degree, denoted O D U? How many arcs are going out of U? That would be just one. There is one arc going from U to the vertex V. Since there's one arc going out of U, the out degree is one. And remember we have this language to talk about adjacency in digraphs. We say that U is adjacent from W because there's an arc going from W to U. But we say that W is adjacent to U because there's an arc going from W to U. On the other hand, U is adjacent to V, but U is also adjacent from V which is the same as saying that V is adjacent to U. Now let's go ahead and label the in degree of U right next to it in yellow. So we'll write two there and we'll label the out degree in blue, which is one. Take a minute yourself to look at the other three vertices and identify their in degrees and out degrees. Have you done it? Let's go through and label them. What is the in degree of W? Well, every arc W is incident with is leaving it. So the in degree of W is zero. There's no arc going to W. On the other hand, the out degree of W is three because there are three arcs going out of W. The in degree of X is two because there are two arcs going to X. Meanwhile, the out degree of X is zero. There are no arcs going out of X. What is the in degree of V? Well, that would be two. There are two arcs going to V. So the in degree is two. The out degree of V is also two because there are two arcs going out of V. Two things we might point out here, since the in degree of W is zero, we know there's no non-trivial path that takes us to W because we can't start somewhere other than W and get to it because there's no arc going to it. On the other hand, there's no path leaving the vertex X because its out degree is zero. So we can't start at X and get anywhere else. If we travel to X along the arcs, we'll be trapped. We can't leave. 
Now, here's a fun exercise for you. Try adding up the in-degrees of all of these vertices. Then, try adding up all the out-degrees of these vertices. What do you notice? I encourage you to make a conjecture about what you notice and try to prove it. We'll talk more about this when we prove the first theorem of directed graph theory. I'll leave a link to the lesson on that topic in the description. So once more, the in degree of a vertex is simply the number of edges going to it, whereas the out degree of a vertex is the number of edges going from it. The in degree counts the number of arcs going into a vertex. The out degree counts the number of arcs going out of the vertex. One last exercise for you. Complete the drawing of this graph based on the provided set of arcs here. Then, fill in this table, giving the in-degree and out-degree of each vertex. Give it a try now, and then I'll quickly walk us through the solution. This arc starts at A and goes to B. This one starts at A and goes to C, like that. This one starts at B and goes to D. This one starts at D and goes to C. This one starts at D and goes to A. We'll draw something like that. This one starts at A and goes to that middle vertex E. This one starts at C and goes to E. And the last one starts at E and goes to D. Now let's fill in the in degrees. We could of course reference our graph to figure out the in degrees, but we could also just look at the set of arcs. The in degree of A is the number of arcs that end with A. If we look at our list here, we'll see there's only one arc that ends with A, which is this one going from D to A. So the in degree of A is one. I also see just one arc ending with B, so the in degree of B is one. Then if we want to go back to using our graph, we see there are two arcs going to C, so the in degree of C is two. There are also two arcs going to D, so its in degree is two, and there are two arcs going to E. Now let's fill in the out degrees, which we could also figure out from our set of arcs. The out degree of A is the number of arcs that start with A, which in this case is three. All three of those arcs are going out of A, and so its out degree is three. B has one arc going out of it, C has one arc going out of it. D has one, two arcs leaving it, so the out degree of D is two. And E has just one arc going out of it. And that'll do it. Hope that helped, and let me know if you have any questions. So much for me, there's nothing here to hold on to. Do I want to?